Hi and welcome to the next tutorial. In today's lesson, we'll learn how to recreate this cool looking wiggle text effect using Adobe After Effects. So anyways, guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we have here is we need to create a new composition and I'm just going to call it main and I'm going to leave it 1920 by 1080 pixels at a duration of about 10 seconds. And I'm just going to press OK. The next thing that we need to do is we need to create a new text layer. And so now I'm just writing some text and I'm then going to align it to my composition just to make sure that it's in the middle. Now, to change the text to the font that I was using in the video, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come over here and I'm gonna search for a font called Surfing Capital. And this font is quite CPU intensive. So you have to make sure that the text is aligned prior to choosing that font, otherwise it might not work. Anyways, once you're done with your text, if you want to change the color or anything like that, you can do that here in the character panel. But once you're done with that, what you can do is you can pre-compose that and you can call that text. And so now we've got a main composition, a text composition, and we're going to create another composition. So we're going to come over here and we are going to call this uh, displace, displacement map. We're just going to press OK. Now for our displacement map, what we need to do is we need to create a new solid. And so I'm just going to call this uh, again, displacement map. And then what I need to do is I need to come over here to my effects and I need to search for an effect called fractal noise. So I can just drag that to my displacement map. Now there are a few things that we need to change in here. Firstly, the fractal type needs to be changed to dynamic. And now the contrast, I'm going to bump this up to about 130 and the brightness also to about 15. Now you can play around with some of these settings and experiment with some of your own settings, um, but I'm just going to leave it like that. The next thing that we need to do is we need to come over to evolution options and we need to hold alt and click on the stopwatch on the random seed and we need to write time times 10. And now if you've done this correctly, you can see what's going on here. Like this uh, fractal noise thing is kind of moving around and that's looking pretty cool. So now what we need to do is we need to go back to our main composition and we need to make sure that we drag the displacement map to this composition. But we can uncheck the eye here so it's not visible. So we need to search for another effect called displacement map. And then all we can do is just drag that to the text. And so now what we need to do is inside of displacement map, we can change the horizontal uh, to luminance and the vertical displacement to luminance. And when you do that, you also need to make sure that you select the displacement map layer and make sure that it's selected to displacement map. And you can already see what's happening here. Now we've got the text wiggling and moving around. So the final thing that we need to do to this uh, text layer is to just to add a background. So I'm just going to add a new solid and I'm just going to search up the gradient ramp effect. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come over here and choose my two colors. Now for the colors, I'm going to use two colors from Color Hunt. So I'm just going to import my graphic into After Effects. And once I've got my colors in there, then it's just as simple as just choosing the two colors to get the effect that you want. And then I don't even need the color palette anymore. And if you want to change where you want the gradient to start, you can play around with some of these settings. So anyways, so once you've got that, the last thing that we can add to the text layer is the drop shadow. So we can just come over here and search for drop shadow, add it to the text, and then you can play around with some of these settings. So for example, if I bring it up to something like 18 and yeah, but anyways, that's a quick tutorial on how to quickly do the wiggle text effect. This is good for like blogs and travel videos and things like that. And you can also connect this After Effects file to the Premiere file. So you don't have to um, redo all of this stuff and export it. You can actually have it all linked together. But anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.